Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and today's topic is the Environmental Control and Life Support System, or ECLIS. Now, it's a system that NASA created for regenerative life support hardware that provides clean air and water for the International Space Station crew and the animals on board. And this uh, creation of this ECLIS it was accommodating for the astronauts for a long-term stay, for the year-long missions and deep space exploration that we are continuing to do with continuing NASA efforts. Now, it consists of two key components. One is the water recovery system, or the WRS, and the oxygen generating system, or OGS. So the water uh, generation piece, water recovery system, provides clean water for clean recycled water for the crew members to drink and use for food. And that's sort of cleaning anything like urine, cabin humidity, condensate, anything that they sweat off. And those kind of wastes go through and filter through this. The other goes through a series of getting the cabin filtration of uh, gases and then regenerates out oxygen for the astronauts to breathe. Now I actually have here in front of me some filtration pieces and we can make our very own home ECLIS system using various filters and pieces we find in our home kitchen or around the house. And we can do this by first gathering a large glass piece. So I happen to have here my uh, coffee pot. And with that coffee pot, I have various other filtration means. So one, I have the coffee filters, the metal filters and mesh filters that it comes with. You can find those in around the house or using other coffee filters that then you can use to filter out liquid waste or paper towel. Other sort of filtration means I have are marshmallows. So marshmallows are they're absorbent. They have a lot of surface area, especially these which are the jumbo marshmallow pieces. And rocks that I went and I found outside. Rocks are very good because they have the coarse surface area around them that could be used to filter out some contaminants some pasta and rice. I also have a rubber band so that we can use to sort of adhere or keep these filters in place. Now what are we going to filter? I happen to have some liquid waste right here. Now don't worry it's just food coloring. So I had yellow food coloring to a pitcher of water and in this pitcher of water, I've added an assortment of things you can find around the house. So I added some cereal pieces in the top, grated some pepper and put that in there, added some oil and even some distilled vinegar so it has some smell to it, and a little bit of rice on the bottom. You could add rocks, you could add plastic beads. So whatever you think is best to add that you think you can filter with your home ECLIS system. So whatever you find around your house, gather that on your table, draw it out, sort of draw out a plan of, plan of what kind of filter you want to make and what steps you want this filter to filter through these items, and gather your collection device. So I'm going to not use the metal filters because I think that would be cheating, but you can if you want to. So I'm going to take two of the regular coffee filters. I'm going to set those on the top there, just like that, and I'm going to add a rubber band around the top so they're sort of staying in place. You know what, let me add paper towel first. I'll add paper towel because it's bigger. There we go. Adding the paper towel. Then I'll add my coffee filters. Like that. So then I think I'll add some rice, some pasta, some marshmallows, and a few of the rocks. 
slide my rubber band around. And I'm going to slowly pour my liquid waste through to see how much filtration can happen from the filtering pieces that I put in here. Let's watch. Sort of set it here. Oh, I can see it's already filtering some of the larger pieces of the cereal. They're being collected at the top. And you see the water filtering through to the base. Filtering all of this through. Still some of the heavier pieces. But if you notice on the bottom of the filter, notice the liquid stays the same color. Now that means that the filter did not filter out all of the contaminants. Because I still wouldn't want to drink that filtered water that has gone through my first set of filtration. Just like Eclis, there's not just one filter, there are several filters that goes through the process of filtering out the water or the condensate and scrubbing the CO2 before it finally gets the fresh water out to the astronauts. Now it's up to you as the home scientist to figure out what is the best filter combo with the supplies that you have at home and how many times you have to filter through your contaminated wastewater to see how long it takes you to get a clear sample at the bottom. That's your challenge and go ahead and gather your supplies and put through the filter test your wastewater and see what kind of clear water you can get from doing your experiment. And remember, science never stops. And don't forget to post, post below some of your filter pictures and some of your results in the column below. Take care.